incoming president of the International Agency for Prevention of Blindness. Uh, I'm very experienced in this role. I've been doing it for a few hours. Uh, so I've just taken that up. So I thought it might actually be a, an insight. Please have given you all the statistical background and the case for why I chose to take on this role because it sort of explains what I think that ultimate outcome of this uh, assembly is going to be. And it's about action. There are a lot of people, there are eye health professionals here who are global experts in their field. I am not one of those. What I'm concerned about is trying to develop through the IAPD and its member organisation and its member organisation program of action that deals with the issue that Peter has asked. That means making eye health priority area in the national health agenda of every country, particularly developing countries. Now we're here, we hear the statistics about India, and of course India is one of the great countries of the world numerically and culturally in another way. So there are many more people involved and affected here than in most countries. But every developing country in the world faces the same challenge. The scale may be smaller because the country might be uh, much a tiny country, but their resources to combat it are equally tiny. So whether it's a tiny Pacific Island country that I know quite well of Samoa, with 100,000 people, the grand country like India, the challenge is the same. And they face many, many health challenges. And what our advocacy is about is saying, within the framework of that health agenda, the lives of your citizens will be significantly enhanced if you put eye health at the top of it. And the parallel issue is about look, looking to the international agencies that deal not just with health, but deal with global poverty and development to say that in the next generation of priority setting for the World Health Organization, but for what comes after the UN Millennium Development Goals in 2015, that eye health features there because it affects the lives of every individual, the economy of every country, uh, and it's, a pro it's not just a very big problem. It's a problem we can do something about in cost-effective ways. And that's why it should be, and we campaign for it to be, high up on the health agenda of each country and of all the major international poverty, development and health organisations. Thank you.